All right, we're tying uh, the backstabber carp fly here. And I'm using a 24.99 SP BL hook here. It's uh, the sharp point hook, barbless. Um, I think any time you have a hook riding upside down, especially for carp, uh, I think the sharper the hook, the better. So I think it's worth splurging on a good hook with this fly. So I'm going to tie uh, my micro dumbbell eyes here right on top. And I'm using just the, the nickel color. And definitely not right at the front of the eye, just kind of a little bit in front of the midway point. And when I'm tying these on, I'm just figure eighting few times and just want to make sure they're nice and cinched down. A couple turns and I'm using a 140 uh, rusty brown thread, the UTC. So I'll just make sure that's nice and in place and you know, those aren't going to move on me. And I'm going to come back to, oh, just kind of maybe a third down the way of the bend of the hook and I'm using um, a fiery brown angora goat on this particular one and I have a bunch of color combinations I do tie this fly in but for, this is the most common one and I'm just going to dub that up end up dubbing it two three times usually just don't want to try to do it all in one where I just glob a bunch of um, dubbing on here and it just doesn't come out evenly so I'm going to slide that up. Just make sure every spin or so, just twisting it down so it doesn't come undone. A lot of people use a dubbing loop um, for a little bit buggier dubbing like this. Uh, whatever you're comfortable with, by all means. Second layer of dubbing on here. Check my other side, make sure I'm not missing any spots. down a little bit and probably one more quick layer should be good I'm going to figure eight the dubbing around the eyes just to cover the top and bottom of it. I'm just going to make sure it's all covered. I'm going to dub the front. And again, the stubbing I'm using is a uh, fiery brown angora goat. Pull that back. And I'm just going to invert it on the hook. Okay. And I'm going to take um, a burnt orange Texas Longhorn Marabou and just going to measure it about. 
a little past the, the length of the hook. Get them wet. It's a little easier to work with if you get them wet. And I'm just going to tie those down right there. Just work. And the final step is I'm going to grab um, some Brahma Han, and I've already pre-done this one, um, and I've stripped down the stem and just kind of splayed out the hackle fe feathers, and this is um, a uh, mottled brown whiting Brahma Han. Uh, really great soft hackle for uh, some bigger flies like this one. I'll just cut those tips out. Work. I'll just get my fingers wet. And I just kind of pull everything back this way. Get it thinking about going that direction. Like so. And then I got the long stem to twist from. And if you need to, use hackle pliers fortunate enough to still have some young nimble fingers so it's not that hard for me to just spin and if it doesn't splay out perfectly that's not a big deal um, I'll show you right here where my correction is if uh, I have some hackles going every which way it's not a big deal right here I just get my fingers wet I just pull everything back like so Pull that down. Tie it off there at the front. And whip finish. And that is the backstabber.